Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for the 24th. So, July 24th, 2019. But then again, you know, the timing is fluid. There's no clocks in the universe. Really, there's not. Everything happens when it's meant to happen. All right? So, anyway, this is for July 24th. This is a message from my guides. Won't be like anybody else's, okay? So, let's see what we got. This this reading is not sign-specific. I still get people that ask, who is this reading for? It may or may not be for you. This is a general message, a general energy, something like this. I don't know who it's for. Let's find out. We're going to start right here. What do we got for the 24th or thereabouts? What do we have for the 24th? Dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. So somebody is receiving messages through their dreams. When you wake up, what your first, whatever it is that you you think about when you first wake up, it's, it was probably part of your dreams. That that you know happens a lot. Some people can't remember their dreams, but they will have a vision later in the day. They'll have a memory of something that probably came up in their dreams. Anyway, your dreams are talking to you. It's like there's there's messages here, messages from the other side. Okay, people, somebody is receiving a lot of signs and symbols other than dreams. Either way, they're trying to communicate with you. Make sure that you are aware, you know, aware of everything. And I mean everything. There is no such thing as coincidence. The song that you hear, that wasn't a coincidence. That song that popped up. That memory that popped into your head out of the blue. That wasn't a coincidence. It was. It has something to do with your cir current circumstances. You know, something. There's some something in it that is trying to tell you something. Um, but your dreams as well. Pay attention. Really open your eyes to the unseen. Look beyond the surface. Look what lies beneath the words. Okay, or look what lies. I'm trying to think of the right wording. What you see has a bigger meaning, okay? It has a bigger meaning. So if, you, if you're not aware, if you're not awake, you won't see it. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So what, what I'm seeing is that you are being guided to go get your heart taken care of. You know, to follow your heart, you're being guided, but somebody is missing the signs. They're not listening. Love is the foundation of your existence. Your subconscious constant, constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. <laughs> well, you know, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, time apart from somebody. This doesn't have to be your husband or your wife or your committed partner. You know, a soulmate. 
a soulmate could be a parent, a soulmate could be a sibling, a soulmate could be a friend. We have many multiple soulmates in a lifetime. There is a separation coming up on the 24th. And I know people don't want to hear that, but it is what it is. Let your friends help you, help you ask for and accept support from others. Maybe you've seen this coming. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you haven't seen it coming because you were asleep. Anyway, there is a separation. There's a separation coming, whether it's with... It could be a job, even. It could be a job. A separation is a separation from somebody or something. Okay? Something that you were soulfully connected to. It was a partnership of some sort. Whether it was... Whoever it was. Okay? Could be a family member. Could be a job. It was a partnership. There's a separation on the horizon. <coughs> and you're being guided to allow it. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Swords reversed. This is going to be sudden. It's going to be sudden. This is a golden opportunity. It's a big opportunity. Consider this a blessing. It really is. It's a blessing. You may not see it as a blessing, you know, because your eyes are covered and you don't want to see it. You know, people only want to see what they want. Just like they only want to hear what they want to hear. The minute some people see that separation card, they get the hell off of this reading because, you know, it's better. I don't want to know it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to believe it. Anyway, this is a blessing. It really is. So I feel like somebody has been choosing not to see. They've been choosing to block their emotions. They've been in denial. They've been avoiding the truth. But it's like they can't avoid it anymore. There's no more avoiding it. They may suddenly have a bigger, better opportunity right in front of them. Something that is so big, you know? This is huge. So they may suddenly have this new opportunity presented to them that, you know, they, they just decide to uh, relocate. They just decide to stop investing in the, the uh, avoidance. They stop investing in putting in energy. You know, they decide, you know... to give up on it. I mean, the seven of pentacles reversed. I mean, they give up on it. There's no more growth here. We have the six of cups here. This is memories, nostalgia, reminiscing. So there could be some reminiscing here on this day because there's a separation. I can't. It is what it is. There's some sort of separation here that is about to happen because there's a bigger, better opportunity that is being presented. Somebody is pre being presented with something more tangible, more solid, more secure. This is unrealistic, dissatisfied, seven of pentacles reversed. There's no more growth here. It's time to relocate. Somebody has decided to... Go plant their seeds like we've been talking about someplace else. They can't avoid it. They can't avoid it anymore. They've been restricting themselves too much. They've been suffering. You think about swords. They've been suffering. The sun. I just want happiness. Somebody's seeing the light about what happiness is. Somebody is receiving an, ex an, an abundant opportunity. It's like they've been enlightened. They've seen the light. Woo! Oh my goodness, the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, I can't. It is what it is. So this is a this is a golden opportunity. It is. This is this is this is a very stable, solid opportunity. This is real. It's real. This is this is somebody that is very devoted. Somebody that is very nurturing. Somebody that is very um, down to earth. This person has something to offer. Really has something to offer. This could be a mother. 
maybe maybe this person is very mothering. Well, obviously she is. The hermit seeing the reverse, seeing the light again, coming out of the darkness. This is coming out of the off that mountain. Um, coming out of hiding. Now, this is like a midlife crisis, the hermit reversed. Somebody has been, this is unrealistic. Somebody has been, I guess I'm doing it this way for the daily vibe. I don't know why. Somebody has been unrealistic, hiding their true feelings. <laughs> oh, okay. But now they're getting realistic. The queen of pentacles is real. She's about reality, okay? There's no... She's grounded. She's down to earth. She's earthy. She's very practical and responsible and disciplined. So, yeah, I mean, somebody is getting real. They're getting real about where their happiness is. They've been blocking happiness. They see this big, huge opportunity for abundance that could make them happy. It's like this light bulb moment somebody gets this light bulb moment that says you know I'm, I'm gonna have to come out of my hermit mode I'm gonna have to come out of hiding nine of cups the chariot reversed and the ten of pentacles wow And the Three of Cups in reversed on the bottom. There's a loss here. A loss of a friendship. A loss of a relationship. There is. There's a loss of a relationship here. And I'm not going to pretend just to make people happy. This is about happiness, right? It's all about happiness. It's about having it all. It's about that opportunity to live that happy life. To have the relationship of your dreams. So somebody is deciding to relocate. And go after something extremely abundant. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. This is this this can really lead to a huge amount of abundance, stability, security, prosperity, extreme happiness here. Extreme Ace of Pentacles, the Sun card, Nine of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, upright. This is an opportunity to have it all. To have your cake and eat it too. This person can take very good care of you. The Queen of Pentacles, she cooks, she cleans, she works, she does it all. She does it all. So I feel like on this day, we have somebody here that is reminiscing this is reminiscing this six of cups they are reminiscing about what love really is what love is supposed to be memories of true love it's like this is what love is and they decide to let go of a relationship this is a third party situation a relationship that isn't making them happy it's not satisfying it's unrealistic it's caused somebody to go through some sort of midlife crisis it's caused somebody to reject their own happiness and I feel like we have somebody here that is rejecting the wrong relationship to go after the abundance that they see it's like they see this huge opportunity for happiness and they can't resist it they can't resist it this, this chariot reversed <laughs> they've been blocking they've been blocking prosperity they've been blocking you know maybe they, they were afraid to go home maybe you know they, they you know this is home the ten of pentacles is home this is fear maybe they've been you know reluctant to move they've been reluctant to make any moves because of fear and that is what that is as well but now they see that the uh, this is just so big the opportunity is so big this is a wish. This is the, this is a, this is a blessing, and they, it's like they see this big, bright opportunity that they can't pass up. And I feel like we have somebody here that I don't know if they're gonna make a move. They're definitely seeing it. 
This person has been enlightened. They have been enlightened. This is suddenly. King of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Suddenly giving up. Suddenly not going any further. Suddenly losing passion. Sudden, or suddenly, you know, no longer going to focus on that. Somebody, We have somebody here that is just giving up. No more energy. No more desire to move to move. No more desire to go in that direction. Putting the brakes on. We have somebody that is putting brakes on an, a situation because they see a more passionate opportunity. So this is a new partner. This is a new partner. Somebody has a new partner that they are more attracted to that can bring them more happiness. And I feel like we have somebody here that has just, you know... I'm going for it. I'm going to I'm going for that abundance. So I think we have somebody here that is giving up on denying themselves happiness. I'm not I'm going after it. It's like they see the opportunity and they go for it. This is going for it. So I do feel like and this could be somebody from your past with the 6 of cups. Some this could be somebody from your past just makes a sudden decision to <laughs> rekindle or this doesn't have to be somebody from the past this person could be somebody brand new that makes you remember what love feels like so be prepared be prepared for something because this is a separation this separation either it has already happened or it's about to happen is going to give bring somebody in a blessing a passionate blessing something that you know could lead them home make them feel like they're at home something that could make them feel very very comfortable something that could last forever okay they're leaving the third party situation and they're starting fresh we got the fool on the bottom starting from scratch starting over so we have a fresh new start here that's leaving all the baggage behind. So we have a fresh start here. And that does mean something is leaving because you ain't taking that with you. It's like they've seen the signs. They get it. Good luck.